In 2015, the Lagos State Government introduced the Computer-Based Test, CBT, for candidates seeking admission into its junior model and upgraded secondary schools. The CBT was introduced to reduce examination malpractice as well as to prepare the pupils for the digital age. The CBT, which commenced with 17 pupils as candidates in the maiden edition, had 77 pupils for this year's edition. Speaking during a tour of the examination centers, the director of the Lagos State Examinations Board, Mr. Olufemi Hazan, described the exam as considerable improvement. The question about for this exam is uh, DIQP, Digital Innovation Question Paper. We have 38,000 types, while other examining bodies in Nigeria, not even in Lagos State, in Nigeria could do just five types. Lagos State can do 38,000 types. That is type one, type two to 38,000. And these questions had no resemblance. So there is no way a cheating could be done. Last year, the result is delayed for say five, 10 minutes after, uh, after, complete, after submission. But now, after submission, as you are submitting, you get your result. It's a remarkable difference between what you have in the past. With the response of these parents, the few ones that opted for CBT this year, you, you can see that we have created the awareness and they know the importance of CBT. Parents shared their reasons for opting for the computer-based test. Lagos State Model College exam is a very competitive one. My son scored 62 then and he was admitted. So because of that, I believe his younger one can equally do the CBT and secure admission. My son was prepared ever since because they have introduced to usage of computer. That won't give them confidence to come and write the exam. And the software they give them, their tips on how they approach the exam is administered in the, the software. I was scared initially. But due to the woman in one of their offices there, she's the one that encouraged me and also explained the benefit for me. So I was like, okay, let me give it a try. So getting home, I explained to my daughter that your modern exam is on computer-based testing. I said, mommy, computer? I said, yes, you are pressing my phone. I said, yes, so there's nothing special. Just read and click your answers. I said, okay, no problem. It's good that the Lagos State also introduced this type of thing in the level of common entrance. So in the next five, ten years to come, the percentage of children will be more higher than this. So it's very good. They should continue. Computer-based tests, to me, it will give you the actual assessment of the child that is writing the examination. And there won't be any uh, manipulation after the examination. I want to advise all parents to adopt this computer-based test because it will help the child in the nearest future. Now that the government has started this, I advise that they should continue. Nothing should stop them because more children, I believe, will see the need or more parents will see the need why their children should do the computer-based test. To the parents, CBT is real. It has come to stay. It is not only for the primary sector again. We see mostly in chance they are doing it. And I think this is an exam do and score yourself. Because you know what you did. It's not like, it, I don't think there is not going to be any more practice in CBT. The computer-based test is the first of its kind in the history of Nigeria. This year, the paper-pencil test was held in 43 designated centers across the state. 11,000 candidates sat for the examination. The Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Mrs. Adebumi Adekoye, alongside officials of the ministry and the state's examinations board, monitored the exercise and expressed satisfaction with the conduct. As you can see, their questions are different. They are randomized. So there is no way cheating can thrive. There are 100 questions and randomized in about 38 different ways. So everything is fair in these exams and when students pass these exams we are sure these are students that will be disciplined going forward to admit into our model colleges to develop the state this nation and 
the world at large. She also enjoined parents and guardians to embrace the computer-based test. This started in 2015 with just about 17 pupils. So you can see that the awareness is growing because we have 77 this year. It's faster, it's more efficient, and I'm sure as time goes on, more parents will embrace it and the pencil paper will become a thing of the past. Pupils who meet the stipulated code of mark will be offered admission into any of the 16 model colleges and upgraded junior secondary schools.